I'm not even gonna be long on this. I just want to say this whole Hassan Campbell and WAC 100 beef. It's insane, man, and it's completely out of control. We knew that this was gonna happen, but there's people online that's questioning who's at fault. My humble opinion is Hassan Campbell is a smart one. WAC 100 is at fault because the same energy that WAC 100 had behind the computer screen, he didn't have in front of Hassan Campbell. Now, when they were on that podcast, if you notice, WAC 100 was asking questions as if the people wanted to know. He said the people want to know about this whole Africa Bambada thing. And then he would comment on it and say little, you know, slick things to Hassan Campbell. But it was in the form of, I'm just asking a question. You're being interviewed. The people want to know this. And Hassan Campbell had no problem answering his questions. But then the minute he got behind a computer screen, then he was like, he was thugged out, you know, he was on it. You know, and I did this and I disrespected him and I said this and I said that and I said this. And I'm looking at WAC 100 like, bro, you you didn't have that same kind of energy, man, when you was talking to him face to face. As a matter of fact, he was sitting there on the side, you know, grilling Hassan Campbell. And then Hassan Campbell had even said that he's willing to go outside with anybody. We can handle it right now. What WAC 100 did was he started laughing and made a comment about him being light-skinned and that he was wild. Where'd you get this wild light-skinned dude from? He laughed at that, but Hassan Campbell was telling him right there, listen, I'm willing to go outside right now. We can handle it right now. And WAC 100 didn't say nothing. But then when he got in Clubhouse behind a computer screen, oh, he was he was he was thugged out then, you know, Pyru. And that's another thing, too, man. WAC 100 is too old, man, to be talking about Pyru. And for him to be doing that, in my own humble opinion, that's showing that WAC 100 is not able to stand on his own two feet. He need Pyru on Pyru. Look at the number of times that he mentioned Pyru, right? So he need that, that backup, that Pyru backup. I've been Pyru for 30 years. I'm Pyru and Pyru. Everything is Pyru, Pyru. Come on, bro. You too old for that, man. That's them young boys, man. That's what them young boys do, man. You too old for that to be calling on Pyru. And a lot of what these old cats are doing, man, the reason why a lot of these old dudes, man, these old heads don't get respect from the young boys is because a lot of these old heads are using young boys to do their dirty work, you know? Because if you notice, now WAC 100, and this is my own personal opinion, but WAC 100 knew Takashi and them young boys are going to be there. Academic was playing both sides because when Hassan Campbell was there and he was talking to WAC 100, Academic was on his phone. He was texting. And not long after he started texting, then that's when Takashi and these young boys showed up, right? And that's when a WAC 100 got a little... He got a little strength on him now because my boys are here. My backup's here. My young boys. See, and that's why a lot of these young kids don't respect older dudes, man, because these older dudes have not grown up yet. They refuse to grow up. So how do you expect these young dudes to respect you when you don't even respect your senior years? These dudes are in their 40s, man, 50 years old, talking about umpire root. How does that sound? What kind of example are you leaving for these young boys, man? So, but Hassan Campbell was smart. He was smart. In boxing, they tell you to protect yourself at all times. And when Hassan Campbell went in there, he started recording. 
He had his ammunition and he thought they were boys. He thought they made up. So there was no need for Hassan Campbell to release that. But then the minute he started talking about Hassan Campbell being, being, being plowed from behind, then Hassan Campbell was like, all right, you want to play this? And he did it behind a computer screen. WAC 100 did that behind a computer screen, started talking about African Babata. And that's the only thing, that's the only thing that uh, WAC 100 could hold over Hassan Campbell's head is when he was molested as a boy, even as a teen. That's the only thing he can hold over Hassan Campbell's head. And he keep talking about he didn't do nothing to Africa Bambada, and Africa Bambada violated him and started talking about, I would have did this, and I would have did this. Listen, these brothers that go to prison, there's no telling what happened when they're in prison or who violated them or took their manhood in prison. When they get out, they don't talk about it. So if WAC 100, if he did some time, we don't know what happened behind them bars, bro. <laughs> we don't know what happened, right? So you could have been violated, but you just don't talk about it, right? But I think Hassan Campbell did the right thing. He protected himself. And when WAC started talking WAC and started talking about how Hassan Campbell was plowed from behind by African Bambada, He's like, all right, so you want to play? We're going to play. And he released those, those audios. He released the audios. And WAC 100 can't deny it because it's him. So he's got no other choice but to say, I stand by that because you said it. See, so now he's trying to save face. He don't want to look like a punk, right? But WAC brother, you're too old for that, man. You need to let all that pyro mess go. I'm Pyru. That's for them young boys, man. And stop using these young boys as, 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 um, as shields. You get into a beef, and then you call these young boys to fight your battles, and then they lose their life, and you still on the internet creating more beefs. So, Wack One Hundred was wrong. He took the first shot. Hassan Campbell did the right thing. He protected himself. I got no issues with him recording because in the art of war, hey man, like WAC 100 said, when, and I'm paraphrasing it, when you attack him, you can't, you can't criticize him for how he respond after he's attacked. Well, Hassan Campbell did the right thing. He protected himself. And now WAC 100, he's bothered by that. That's what made him so angry is because of the fact that he attacked Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell came back in a way that he couldn't defend. So that's my take on that. Feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.